Hello and welcome back. In this video, I will show you step by step how to connect your mobile phone to your mixer. I'm going to cover this both ways round. First, we will look at how you can stream the audio playing on your phone to your mixing console so you can incorporate audio tracks in your mix alongside your microphones and instruments. Second, I will also show you how to go the other way round. So if you want to get the stereo mix from your mixer into your phone for live streaming or to film a video or to just record the audio from your mixing console, then you will learn how to do that too. Are you ready? Let's go! The simplest and cheapest way to output the audio from your phone is to go through the headphone port. If you don't have an actual headphone port on your phone, then you'll need a headphone jack adapter. This Android phone has a USB-C port, so I have a USB-C headphone port adapter. If you have an iPhone, you'd need the Lightning to 3.5mm headphone jack adapter. Now all you need is a cable like this. It's a 3.5mm TRS to dual quarter inch TS stereo breakout cable. On the one end you have a mini stereo jack and the signal is then split left and right to two quarter inch jacks. Plug the mini jack into your headphone port, then the black jack into the left input and the red jack into the right input on one of the line input channels on your mixer. Now note that this connection is unbalanced, which means the cable does not want to be too long, preferably less than three meters. If you need a much longer cable run from your phone to your mixing board, then you should consider using a DI box to convert the signal from unbalanced to balanced. But for this demonstration, I'm assuming you don't need a long cable run and this will work just fine. You control the volume of the audio coming out of your phone using the volume control like so. You control the level of the phone audio in your mix by adjusting the level here on your mixer. This is another way you could stream the audio from your phone to your mixing console. For this, you'll need an audio interface, an adapter to connect it to your phone and the correct cables. To connect to Android, you use an OTG adapter, which allows you to connect a USB device to your phone. For an iPhone, you need the Lightning to USB 3 camera adapter. And my top tip is to get a powered one so you can power your iPhone at the same time. Once the interface is correctly connected to the phone, then it automatically becomes the default audio input and out device for that phone. All you need to do then is connect the line outputs from the interface into a set of line inputs on the mixing console. This little Behringer U control is cheap as chips and is a handy little audio interface to use with a phone. The line outputs are RCA outputs, so to connect it to the mixing console, I just need a pair of RCA to TS cables like this and connect the left and right outputs of the interface to the left and right inputs of the mixer. Now again, these connections are unbalanced in this instance, so shorter cable runs are the order of the day. This little interface does not have any onboard controls. I adjust the level of the audio coming out of my phone using the volume control on my phone. I then control the level of that audio in my mix here on the mixing board itself. To show you a different example, I could connect this Focusrite audio interface to my phone. It happens to be a USB-C device, so I can just use a USB-C cable and connect it direct. I could equally use a USB-C to USB-A cable and the OTG adapter. Now with an iPhone, I would need to use the USB-C to USB-A cable and a lightning adapter. The line outputs of this Focusrite interface are quarter inch and they are balanced. So in this case, I can use balanced quarter inch TRS jack cables to connect the left and right outputs of the interface to the line inputs of the mixer, as these inputs accept a balanced connection. This would enable me to have a longer cable run if needed. Although the interface looks completely different, the principle is exactly the same as with the Behringer U control, except for one thing. I control the volume of audio from my phone here as before, but I adjust the volume of audio being output from the interface using this control here. 
Finally, I control the level of the phone audio within my overall mix here on the mixing board. So that covers two different ways to get audio from your phone into your mixer. Now, what happens if you want to go the other way around and stream audio from your mixing console to your phone? Maybe you want to create a video with your phone or use it to live stream, or you want to record the audio with good quality. Theoretically, it is possible to do this with just a cable. Here's how. The breakout cable we used earlier can be used to combine the left and right outputs from the mixing console to this mini stereo jack. You would then need to use a TRS to TRRS adapter like this to plug this cable into your headphone port or headphone port adapter on your phone. Now this will work, but the quality will not be great and also the signal will be mono. Your headphone port is an input and output port and although it gives you stereo headphone out, it only gives you mono microphone in. So you can get audio from your mixer into your phone this way, but it's not the way I would recommend. A much better way is to use an audio interface. This will give you a higher quality stereo signal into your phone. Let's demonstrate this first with the really inexpensive Behringer interface. Connect it to your phone using the OTG or Lightning USB adapter as I showed you before. Now it becomes both the audio output and input device. The next step is to connect the line outputs from the mixer to the line inputs of the interface. In this case, you simply need a pair of TS to RCA cables, take the left and right main outputs from the mixing console and connect to the left and right inputs of the interface. The Behringer U control has no onboard level controls, so adjust the level coming from your mixer until it is at an appropriate level in whichever app you are using. As an example, on this Android phone, I like to use open camera to make videos. Here are the steps you need to get stereo audio for your video, and the principle will be the same whatever app you want to use with your mixer. In open camera, you open up the settings and go to the video settings, then audio source, and choose the option to use external mic if present. Then go to audio channels where you can select stereo. I also like to go to the camera preview settings and show audio level meter so I can see that the audio is working fine while I am filming and also get some idea of the recording levels. Now it's just a case of filming your video. This will give you excellent recording quality from your mixer. On an Apple device, rather than using the default camera app, I like to use ProMovie because this enables me to select the audio device when filming videos. However, you can use the built-in camera app, but what you should do is start up the camera app and then connect the interface. Really, you need to refer to the instructions for whatever app you want to use. Most work seamlessly with an external audio interface, so you won't have any problems getting your mix into your software. In exactly the same way, you could use a much more expensive interface like the Focusrite 4i4. In this case, you need a pair of quarter inch jack cables. The manual for this Behringer mixer states the outputs are unbalanced, so just use a pair of quarter inch TS cables. If you had a mixer with balanced outputs, like this Yamaha for example, then you could use TRS jack cables as this Focusrite interface has balanced inputs. You can adjust the audio levels coming from the mixer here and you also have gain controls on each input on this interface so it's a question of adjusting the levels in two places to get the volume you want within whichever app you are using. If you want more details about how to connect a mixer to an interface then I have a video that goes into much more detail. The principles for setting levels for recording are exactly the same on your phone or mobile device as your computer. Once you have the audio interface correctly connected and levels adjusted, then the recording process is exactly the same as with that simpler Behringer U control. Finally, to monitor the audio going into your phone from your mixer, plug your headphones into the audio interface. Then you'll be able to hear what's going on. I should point out that this Behringer mixer happens to have a built-in audio interface anyway. So in fact, I can connect it directly to my phone 
using the OTG adapter. Or if I had an iPhone, then the lightning adapter. In this case, I don't need any audio cables to connect from the mixer to the interface. The interface is built into the mixer. Once you've made that USB connection, then you can proceed exactly as if you had connected a standard audio interface. However, if you've got a mixer like this Yamaha, then you will need an interface as this has no built-in USB connection. By the way, with this Behringer, you need to make sure you have pressed the USB to main mix button, otherwise you won't hear anything in your recording software. Now you have the basics of how to connect your phone up to your mixer, whichever way around you want to do it. Well, I hope you found this helpful. Any comments or questions, post them below. If you've enjoyed this video, then do give it a like and please subscribe and hit the little bell if you want to be the first to see my newest recording tutorials and how-to guides. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye for now.